Now that you've created a new trial account in NeoLoad Web, it's time to build your first test case here in the NeoLoad controller. To do that, click the New Project button and give it a project name. Once your project is created, you can click the Start Recording button and NeoLoad will ask you what is the name of the user path you wish to create and which web browser would you like to use. When I click the OK button, it's going to launch a new instance of the Edge browser and I can open my application and begin recording my business transaction. As I move through the application, providing the requisite details, NeoLoad will record all of the transaction traffic behind the scenes and allow me to see and understand what my web application is doing as it sends and receives traffic. Once complete, I stop my recording. NeoLoad will analyze the application looking for other communication traffic that may have been taking place between all of the different endpoints available from that application. When I click the Finish button, NeoLoad will have successfully created all of the send and receive traffic that was witnessed while that application was being recorded. There are a number of things that I can do here in the NeoLoad controller, including validating the user path to ensure that it works. This validation allows me to ensure that the traffic that I recorded during my user path creation is executed successfully by NeoLoad and that there are no notable differences between what we saw during the recording of the application and what we see as we play it back now. This test is now ready to be used in the NeoLoad performance test. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck with your NeoLoad trial.